This is the day the Lord has made, and we will and have to rejoice and be glad in it. A word of prayer, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this blessed day. I pray that you bless this, your precious ones, under the sound of my voice, wherever they are coming in and tuning in from. Let understanding increase in their lives. Let revelation knowledge flow freely concerning them and bring us to the place of understanding and increase in jesus mighty name we pray with thanksgiving if if you are still breathing and can hear me shout amen wherever you are amen and amen and amen what well, i'm bringing you greetings again from you can tell where i'm sitting is not the uh the studio there the uh, i mean the <clears throat> the hotel somewhere <laughs> In Europe, still in Europe here, and they'll bring you greetings. Well, good afternoon, I think, what it is. I think it's about 4 o'clock here. My time is about 4 o'clock p.m. 4 o'clock p.m. My time is about 4 p.m. here. So um, good afternoon to you, wherever you are. Good evening and uh, good night to those of you who are having a night time. All right? God bless you. And... Um, Hope and trust you are doing well. Hope and trust you are doing well. The important thing, beloved, here is that you are still tuned and holding on to Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of your faith. Do not let your faith in Christ uh, go nowhere. Are you listening? Irrespective of whatever you are going through or will go through, let your faith in Jesus remain. Let your faith in Jesus remain. Do not go anywhere. And so again, good afternoon to you from where I am. It's afternoon, 4 p.m. And um, good night or good evening or good morning, wherever you are under the sound of my voice. Well, let's get to the word of God. If you have your Bibles with you, if you have uh, your Bibles, if not, just take a pen and, and a notepad, get some notes down and... Um, let this segment be a blessing to you, okay? Now, you see that I am, uh, you can probably tell that I'm not looking into the cameras because uh, <clears throat> I'm not at the, um, the place where other things are done for me. I have to try to do certain things myself, all right? So praise God anyhow, praise God anyhow. And um, it is so good, it's just so awesome. Is so awesome. Well, let's get to the word of God. Yesterday, yesterday I we spoke on the um, um, a personality that Jesus had an encounter with. Um, Jesus was on his way to Galilee, and he went through Samaria. Now, let me acknowledge some of you disciples over here. Now, I can see you, uh, disciple Lawar, disciple Lawar, Lawar. How is UK? Well, I'm in France now. Okay, I'm in France now. Blessings, bonjour. Is it bonjour? Is it bonjour? Something, whatever. Bon something. <laughs> Bless you, Pastor Sam K. You're doing a wonderful job. I was watching you last week on your um, outside broadcast. Beautiful, beautiful. Keep it up. Keep it up. All right, keep it up. Disciple Sahar, blessings of the Lord be upon you. Blessings of the Lord be upon you. Uh, disciple Rose from Egypt. Egypt, God bless you. Disciple Echam, blessings of the Lord. Disciple Rama, oh, I give you a wave. Rama, I give you a wave. Loving all of you, precious saints of God. Disciple Lane, 
Blessings upon you. Beautiful disciple, Lavanda. And bless, blessings of the Lord be upon you. Hey, I see uh, Victor Alozi. <laughs> Victor Alozi, if you are still there, blessings of the Lord be upon you. Um, MC Indama. Blessings of the Lord. MC Indama. Gulson, disciple Gulson, if you are still there, let me give you a wave. Um, Turkey, Turkey. I am coming to Turkey very soon, all right? Coming to Turkey. I'm just waiting for your election to be completed. I'm coming there. <laughs> so get ready for me. All right. Saha, blessings again. And um, disciple. Oh, Francesca. Francesca, blessings of the Lord. All of you, Francesca Rose. Uh, who has some? Um, Vanisha. Va Is it the same Vanisha in the uh, United States? Vanisha Martin. That's you. Hey, the woman who calls and she doesn't call. <laughs> well, God still loves you. God still loves you. Say hello to your precious husband, David, for me as well. God bless all of you. Well, we've been talking yesterday. We um, talked about this woman with no name. But the Bible says that a woman from Samaria, a woman from Samaria, Jesus goes to Galilee, but he goes through Samaria and then met a woman there with no name. The Bible don't give us a name of this Samaritan woman. But the interesting thing is that um, this Samaritan woman had an, an engagement with Jesus concerning, you know, who she was and who Jesus was. Very interesting yesterday. I didn't bring this thing up, but I, I just want to show, bring out certain things to you today. For your understanding, very. I'm going to be very brief, maybe about half an hour, 45 minutes today because of what I have to do. All right. Um, yes, Christine. Christine time. Yes, getting ready for Israel. I'm doing fantastic. I'm doing well and hope you are doing well as well. Oh, Christine, I'll send, that will be coming to you shortly. All right, the, uh, your itinerary will be coming to you shortly. So just stay easy and um, just get your, your bags and all that. All right. Anyway, so uh, we've been talking yesterday about this woman that um, um, had an encounter with Jesus. Jesus was on his way to, um, uh, to Galilee, but he went through Samaria. And on his way to Samaria, on, on his way to Galilee, went through Samaria and had an encounter with this woman, the Bible says, a Samaritan woman. That Jesus, you know, um, met her at the well, okay, a well, you know, a well has water in it that people, you know, fetch water to drink, fetch water to do whatever they have to do, okay, this was Jacob's well, and um, the woman uh, came and Jesus um, asked her to draw some water for him to drink. And the woman said to Jesus, how do you, you know, you come, uh, you a Jew, come and ask me for water. The interesting thing here is that Samaritans are Jewish descent. Interestingly, Samaritans are Jewish descent. There's a Jewish connection with the Samaritans. But the Jews per se do not like them because of the intermarital issues concerning them. So they don't really flow with them. Are you listening? The, the ladies, the woman said something that was very interesting that um, we've heard, okay, we've heard that there will be a Messiah who will come, and when she comes, she will tell us, or he will tell us all things that we ought to know. Very interesting. Very interesting scenario. The, a Messiah, we've been told that a Messiah will come. Because of her relationship. Now, I want us to look into this scripture again and point certain things out. Okay? We want to just point certain things out. And today, what I, uh, the light I want to throw on this is uh, 
that um, Jesus went through, Jesus, Jesus went through Samaria towards Galilee. Now on his, now again, again we see that the woman from Samaria came to draw the water and then Jesus said to her, give me a drink. And then she said, she said to the woman, he says, the, um, the, the woman said, how is it that being a Jew, you asked me, a Samaritan woman, to give you water to drink? For Jews have nothing to do with Samar Samaritans, she says. Jews have nothing to do with Samaritans. Now, Samaria was a central location or it's located between the northern part and the southern part, okay, of, um, of, uh, of, uh, of Galilee. Samaria, Judea was in the southern part. Galilee is in the northern part. In between is Samaria. The Jews despised the Samaritans because they were Jews who had... There were Jews who had uh, intermarried with non-Jewish and followed a heretical religion. You know, this phone seems to be disturbing me right now. All right, oh, hold on a second. I forgot to have taken this phone off. Okay, here we go. Now, the, um, the, um, the Jews despised the Samaritans because they were Jews who had, they were, listen to me carefully, they were Jews who had intermarried with non Jews and follow this heretical religion. So they had some relationship, okay, with. The, the full Jews, if you will. Because there were Jews who had, because of that intermarried relationship that they had, okay, with non-Jews, so they were separated. Now, Jesus told the woman, give me a drink. The woman said, Jesus says, if you knew about God's gift, okay, or if you knew who is asking you to give me a drink, you will have given the drink because your eternal life is connected with this request. Because I can give you a drink that when you drink, you see, this is what caught the attention of the woman, that I can give you a drink that you will never test again. I am the, 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 the living water, Jesus says, basically. I am the living one. I can give you a drink that you will never test again. The woman said, sir, you have nothing to draw, no bucket, no rope, and the well is deep. The well to drink from is deep. <laughs> deep well. Where do you get that living water? Where do you get that living water? This well I'm talking about, that well is deep. You have no bucket. You have no rope to tie it on the, on the, on the handle of the bucket to draw the water. Are you greater than our father Jacob? Look, look at this. Look at this dialogue here. Are you greater? First of all, she said the well is deep. You don't have nothing to, you know, to face that. And the well is deep. So are you, then she, she continued to say, are you greater than our father Jacob? Who gave us the well? And who used to drink from this well himself? And even feed his sheep, our cattle. Jesus answered her, everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty by the water that I'm going to give you. The water 
that I give you will never be thirsty again. But the water that I give you will become in you a spring of water. Satisfying the thirst for God. Jesus was speaking about a divine thirst. A divine thirst. A divine thirst. Then the woman says, oh, since you're talking about a divine test, well, don't forget that, you know, I, I have an understanding about who you are. I know who you are. Are you listening? I know who you are and I know the, you know, the, the prophetical things that has been said through this religion concerning salvation. Because remember, the Bible says that salvation is of the Jews. Are you getting the revelation here? And so, the woman said to Jesus, give me this water so that I will not get thirsty nor have to continually come all the way here to draw. And then Jesus says, watch this now. Jesus gets to the core of who this woman is. Remember, Samarians or Samaritans, I mean, Samaritans were Jews who, by virtue of intermarriage, okay, are no longer considered Jews because they married non Jewish people. In other words, Jewish people are not, there are people who don't marry outside their tradition or their culture. Are you listening? But these people, and then they settle down, okay, because of the, um, the Assyrian captivity, they settle down in this area. And so the Jewish, the Jews really don't like them. The Jewish people consider the, the Samaritan woman ceremonially unclean people. The Jewish people, they, they consider the Samaritan woman ceremonially unclean. 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 You see, the Samaritans have this understanding that water by itself, it's life. Water by itself, it's life. They understand that. So when Jesus says, well, I can give you a better life, a, a water that is better, will give you an eternal life. Her curiosity was like, okay, if there's another or a better life than this which I know, then give me that. That was what caught her attention. Jesus knew exactly what he was doing. Now, for Jesus to showcase himself that he is the Christ to the world. He is the Messiah. He is the one that the woman was talking that yeah, we knew or we know that there will be a Messiah. When he comes, he will tell us all things. Jesus have to showcase that to her, that I am. Beloved, all eyes must be on Jesus. All eyes. All eyes must be on Jesus. All eyes must be on Jesus. Now, there is this situation and a dialogue where then Jesus says, <laughs> go get your husband. Go get your husband. Go and get your husband. Go and get your husband. Now, what has my, your, her husband got to do with the water? What has the husband got to do with the water? 
Because the Samaritans, especially the women, are ceremonially considered unclean people because of their lifestyle in terms of uh, intermarrying and marriages and they are, con I mean, they are known for one man today, another man tomorrow, today, you know, that kind of stuff. So Jesus wants to get to the core of this woman and said, go get your husband. Because asking me to give you a water has nothing to do with my, with my husband. Say, go get your husband. Jesus want to show himself. He says, the woman says, I don't have a husband. Ah! I don't have a husband. Jesus, you have said that right. You said that right. Look, this is where the divine, the divinity of Jesus, glory be to God, show, comes in to showcase. He says, Jesus said to her in verse 17 of um, John 4, You have correctly said, I do not have a husband. For you have had five husbands, and the one you are living with is not your husband. You have said this truthfully. Then the woman said, I perceive you are a prophet. How do you know? How do you know that the one that I am living with is not my husband. I'm living with a man, but he is not my husband. How do you know? How, how do you know that? Because I perceive you, you are a prophet. Because it's, it's, I guess it's, this is a prophetic um, intuition, or this is a, a prophetic um, way of um, getting to know somebody how do you know our fathers what, what watch this now she continued to talk our fathers worship on this mountain but you jews say that the place where one ought to worship is in jerusalem and uh, in the temple now if you read the history and the background of the samaritans they had their own temple. They had their own temple. Samaritans were were where 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 they 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 are located, if you will. Um, let me let me get something out to, to um, share with you. It had the it has to do with. Um, um, it has to do with um, it has to do with um, uh, Manasseh, Ephraim, and the half tribe of Manasseh. You know what? Just, just, just forget it. I, I, I wanted to share something with you. I don't want to lose where I'm going. Now, Jesus, tell the woman. That yes, you are you spoken truthfully because the one that you are living with is not even your husband. The woman says, I perceive you are a prophet. I perceive you are a prophet. Just because Jesus told her that. Jesus replied to this woman in verse 21 and said, Well, believe you me, the time is coming when God's kingdom comes. All right, you will worship the Father neither on the mountain nor in Jerusalem. You Samaritans do not know. <laughs> Watch this now. You Samaritans do not know what you worship. You Samaritans, you don't know what you worship. For salvation is of the Jews. In other words, you don't even know what you have. You don't even know what you have. Remember, the Samaritans were Jewish descent. But because of intermarriage, okay, 
they were separated. And so now, Jesus is saying that you guys have gone to, you know, be worshiping. You have some kind of, you have, you have, you have embraced other religion. But I want you to know that salvation is from the Jews. But the time is coming when the true worshipers, it's not about where you are worshiping, but it's about who you worship. It's not about where you worship, it's about who you worship. True worshipers who worship the Father from the heart. You will worship the Father from the heart. Now, you realize that Jesus didn't condemn this woman, irrespective of the fact that the Jews despise the Samaritans. Jesus didn't condemn her. Didn't say that you are this or you are that or you this or you are that. Did not condemn her. Jesus was showcasing himself to this woman to let her know that even though we Jews have nothing to do with you Samaritans, yet I'm passing through here to let you know that I am the Savior. What you are going through, the life you are living, is not what the Father expects of you. But I am the Savior. I am the Savior. You, you, are you getting the, the revelation here? Jesus has no business passing through the, of, of course, he could have gone around Samaria, uh, Samaria to Galilee. But it's obvious. It's obvious that Samaria lies between the, the, the uh, Judea and, and Galilee. And so I guess it's, it's easy for him to go there. But what I get here is that Jesus wanted to show himself even to these people that he's the savior. He's the savior. Because you see that this woman had a thirst. This woman needed God. This woman needed because this is something that has been has been has been sitting in her for all this while. For all this while. You realize that finally she has to just be screaming to the town and said, Hey, everybody come and see. I've seen the man. I have seen the man. He, she didn't say, I've seen the Savior. I have seen the man. Amen. I've seen the man. She has seen all kinds of men. But this is a man. And she has seen all kinds of men. But this is a man. And she says, look at verse 23 again. But the time is coming and it's already here when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit. That is from the inner self, the true worshippers in truth, in, in truth. For the Father seeks such people to be his worshippers. The woman said to him, verse 25, I know that Messiah is coming. Watch this. I know that Messiah is coming. He who is called Christ, the anointed. And that when that one comes, he will tell us everything we need to know. She says, I know. How did she know? Because of her, of, of her connection, because of her, of, her, of her relationship in that race. I know. You need to know Jesus, beloved. You need to know Jesus. You need to know him. You need to know Jesus for yourself. You need to know Jesus. Jesus is the one. Oh, glory be to God. Jesus said to her, to her I who speak to you, I am he. I I, who speak to you, I am he, the Messiah. I am he, the Messiah. 28 said, the woman left her water jar 
and went into the city and began telling people. <laughs> he says, come. See a man who told me all things that I have done. Now, do you think that is all that the woman has done? Just the five five men, or the whole, or, 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 or she may be living other lives. She says, Come see a man who told me all the things that I have done. Can this be the Christ? She says, Can this be the Christ? Can this be the Christ? Can this be? The Christ. So the Bible said the people left the city and uh, were coming to Jesus. They were coming to Jesus. They were coming to Jesus. They were coming to Jesus. Now, come to verse 39 for the sake of time. Now, many Samaritans from that city believed in him, believed in him, okay, because I mean, they asked Jesus to stay with them, okay, when the woman went and mentioned that to, you know, the city. Now many Samaritans from that city believed in him and trusted him as Savior, that he is. He is the Savior because of what that woman said when she testified and said, he told me all things that I have done. He told me all things that I have done. So when the Samaritans came, Jesus asked him. When, when the Samaritans came to Jesus, they asked him to remain with them. And Jesus stayed with them. Watch this. Jesus stayed with them two days. Two days. And many more believed in him with a deep and abiding trust because of his word his own personal message to them and they told the woman listen to what the city the, the people of the city told the woman we no longer believe we no longer believe just because of what you said we no longer believe just because of what you said for now, we have heard him for ourselves. And we know with confidence the assurance that is, he is the one and this one is truly the savior of all the world. Beloved, Jesus is the one and true savior of all the world. Jesus is the one and true savior of all, not some part of the world, of all the world. Jesus is the one and true savior of all the world. Jesus is the one and true savior of all the world. Jesus is the one and true savior of all the world. The world. Jesus is the one and true Savior of all the world. All eyes must go on Jesus. I don't know what you are looking for. I don't know what your quest is. But you see, Jesus quenched the thirst. That, that longing thirst in the life of this woman. She, Jesus settled the issue. Jesus settled the issue with her that you, what you've been looking for, only me, me, Jesus, can give it to you, nobody else. Beloved, let all eyes point to Jesus. Let all eyes. If you want satisfaction, look to Jesus. If you want results to whatever the issue is, look to Jesus. Whatever the situation is, 
look to Jesus. Jesus is the author and the finisher of your faith. Today, today, I'm, I'm done. I, I'm just done. But I want you to know something. Jesus has all the answers you are looking for. Are you listening to me? I'm telling you. This woman obviously had a need. She had a need that only Jesus can solve that need. Only Jesus. And then it shows you that the people of the city had the need. They were looking to see who this, who this man is. And when they came to see for themselves, they told the woman, we don't just even believe what you said because we have seen and heard him for ourselves. You need Jesus for yourself. Oh. You need Jesus for yourself. Um, you need Jesus for yourself. They told the woman. Now, the woman caught their attention. Well, whatever role she placed in the city, for her to speak to them that y'all come and see a man. A man. They came. They listened to her and then they came. But when they came, they saw this man and this man told them, oh glory be to God, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one goes to the Father except through me. I, I. Jesus is the only one who can speak I. <laughs> the other day, I asked, I asked her on the platform, have you had any other relig religious or religion leader, of a, a leader of any other religion who can say that or has said that, that I am the way? No one goes to the Father. God the Father I'm talking about. Except me. Have you had anybody else? No. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hey, I don't know what you're going through. Call upon him. I don't know what has happened. Call upon him. Just give your life to Jesus today. Let him be the Messiah. The anointed one. Who can solve every problem you have. If you can trust him. The Bible says that, man, I love this. He says, and watch this now. The, Bible, the scripture says, watch this. Many, verse 41, John chapter 4, verse 41, it says, many more believed, many more believed in him with a deep abiding trust. Glory be to God. With a deep abiding trust. I don't know who you trust in. But I put my trust in Jesus. I put my trust in Jesus with a deep abiding trust because of his word, his teaching. Because of his teaching. And they told the woman, all those people, they told the woman and I quote, we no longer believe just because of what you said. For now, we know, we have heard we have heard him for ourselves and know with confidence, confidence, full of assurance that this one is truly the savior of all the earth. This one. Does it mean, it, it almost sounds like all the women, all the men that this woman had gone with, this past five men and probably this one, I don't know. It sounds more like maybe they thought that uh, it could be. It, it, oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Could it be that? Oh, 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 the first one acted like the Messiah. The second one acted like Messiah. The third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, and even this one. The one that Jesus said, the one that you are living with is not even your husband. Because listen to what the people said. They said. They said, they said to her, we no longer believe just because you have said that. We have heard him ourselves and know with confidence 
that this one, <laughs> not any other man that you've been talking about. I don't know who you've been talking about. Whoever you are hailing and and, 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 and and lifting them up and bowing to and all that. I don't know anybody, but this one is truly the savior of all the world. This one. Oh, may this one. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Jesus, may this one be the one you've been looking for. May this one. Nobody else. Beloved, may, may he, may this one, this Jesus, this Jesus be the one that you are looking for. After that, after the two days, the Bible says Jesus went on from there to Galilee. For Jesus himself declared that a prophet has no honor in his own country. In Assam. So when he arrived in Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him. Since they had seen all the things that he did in Jerusalem at the feast. For they too came to the feast. Jesus can do it for you. He can do it all. He, this, he is the one. He is the one. Jesus is the one and one alone. Nobody else. Jesus is the one and one only. Nobody else. I don't know who you're looking at. I don't know who you've been listening to. I don't know who is making himself or herself as your Messiah. But I'm presenting to you the one and only Jesus. Well, preacher, brother, pastor, friend, how do where do I find him? <laughs> Good question, ain't it? Where do I find him? I'm looking for him. Oh, he's he's so close to you. He's so close, he's so close to you than the clothes you are wearing. Yes. Yes, he's so close to you. If you want him, you have to open your heart and receive him. You just have to open your heart and receive him. How do I receive him? Open your heart. How do I open my heart? I don't know by open. <laughs> I don't know by open. Open your heart and receive him. You, <clears throat> you know how you get things? You, you get things from your heart and you put some things in your heart. And uh, sometimes you, I mean, you, you, you've told some people, man, I love or somebody, I love you from my heart. I love, yeah, the same thing. Open your heart and allow him in. Allow him in, and he will do you good. Allow him in, and he will do you good. Are you listening to me? Allow him in. That's all you have to do. I mean, right now, right now, he is with you now, and if you if you invite him in, he will come in right now. You you you. Will, I'm telling you, you will feel a difference in your life if right now. Invite him in now. He will come into you. Will feel difference in you when you open your heart and invite him in. Do that now. Do that right now. You will never regret. You see what? You see now. Now that that the woman, the the woman met Jesus. Her her issues, her issues of the fact that she said to Jesus, "Give me this water." So that I may not test again. Whatever, whatever that she was going through was going through her mind. Because you know, she she is a woman who has men. And that was the the, the lifestyle of the woman of the of the, the Samaritan woman. And that is why the Jewish the Jews despised them because of the intermarital. Uh, relationship that they have. They were considered ceremonially unclean because they married outside the Jewish culture or the Jewish um, 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 uh, tradition. Remember, they were Jewish descent. They were Jews. Are you listening? But because of that lifestyle and attitude, 
They were like cast outcasts. But you see, God loves everybody. God loves, loves you. Beloved, God loves you. God loves you. As much as the Jews despised the Samaritans because of that, Jesus still went there to let them know that what they knew, what they had and what they knew. Remember what the woman said? It says, I know that there will be a prophet coming. There will be a Messiah coming. Jesus says, I'm the one you are talking to. I'm the one. So they knew. They knew. They knew. Jesus says, I am that one you are looking for. Beloved, I present Jesus to you. What, who you are looking for, what you are looking for, where you are looking at is Jesus. Receive him in your heart. In your heart. Let him, let him come in. He, he says he's standing at the, at the door and he's knocking. You know you want something. You know you, you need something. You are tired of what you are going through. You are, you are tired. You, you've done everything and you are tired of what you are going through. Allow him to come in. Let him come in and just calm the stormy waters in your life. Let him come in and put things at ease. Let him come in and put you at rest. Let him come in and, 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 and solve the situation. Let him come in. Allow Jesus to come in. And if you are that person right now, wherever you are the son of my voice, if you can close your eyes so that you don't get distracted by looking at anybody or anything, Anything just distracting you, just so that you just open your heart, just open it, open your heart, open your heart right now, and just and just invite him. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart, be the Lord and Savior of my life. I need you right now. I need you right now. Receive me, Lord Jesus, because I need you. You are the one that I'm looking for. And I thank you for receiving me. I believe and I receive you right now in my life. I believe and I receive you right now in my life. And I thank you. Amen. If you truly, truly and sincerely invited him into your heart, into your life, listen, your, your Bible, Bible talks about, I think in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, that out of your heart springs out the issues of life. Are you listening to me? Talking about life. There's no heartbeat in you right now. You don't have no life. And that's why you have to let Jesus come into your, your heart. Because if Jesus is in your heart, your life, he'll be in your life. Are you listening? Don't let him go. Let him stay there. Keep him in your heart. Love him. Talk to him. He, 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 I'm telling you, you're going to begin to see difference. Why? Because I did. And many so have testified. Are you listening? Now, I don't want to leave you right there. You, 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 you know, like babies, okay, you have to crawl and then you walk and then you run and and that kind of stuff so i i i'm i want to suggest to you okay look in your geographic location where you live look for a bible teaching believing okay a place of worship a believe bible believing place of worship bible teaching believing place of worship go there and introduce yourself let them know that you have received Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. You've made him your Lord. He's your Lord, your King, your God. And you're excited. They're going to lead you into the steps, okay, of growing. Get yourself a Bible. If you need one, just let us know. Are you listening? If you need one, just let us know, okay? Um, if you go to the website... Where I am now, the, the crawler is not because, you know, the, the network is not solid here. So the, they cannot work it from, 
you know, uh, United States where I've left for some time now. Are you listening? So they go to the website. Go to my website. It's uh, www.patrickquino. It's Q-U-A-I-N-O-O. -O. Go to that, that site. Okay? Dot com. Patrickquino Ministries dot com. www.patrickquinoministries.com. Go there and get all the information. Send send me an email or so if you need Bibles, just just let me know. All right, we'll send you one and um, and um, uh, that will be a blessing to you. Are you listening? In the meantime, in the meantime, just join me. If Jesus don't show up tomorrow, I mean tonight, tomorrow we're gonna be here again. Are you listening to me? I want you to know. Listen, I come to bring you the word of God because I love you, Jesus saved me and he will save you jesus loved me and he loves you he loved this irrespective of the fact that you know the jews you know despise the samaritans he still loved them that he went through that place for the sake of loving the world are you listening now listen to the the samaritans this is now we know and we believe that this one, this one, I love it. He says, this one is truly the Savior. This one is truly the Savior. This one is truly the Savior. Oh, glory be to God. He is. He is. And so, um, I want you to, um, you know, join me again if Jesus, because he's going to come back. He promised us he's going to come back and we expected him. Yeah, he's going to come. He has been here already. It's not like he's going to be, you know, coming for the first time. No. No. In the meantime, he left us with the Holy Spirit to help us in every area of our lives. Are you listening? The Holy Spirit. Now, when you find um, um, uh, a Bible teaching, believing, worship place, all right, ask them to baptize you. All right, you got to be baptized. You got to be baptized. Now, disciples, I've already um, mentioned this to you. You need to baptize people. You need to baptize them. You, yes, yes, you disciple. You need to when you you introduce Jesus. All right, and and they receive him. Baptize them. If you can now, if you can bring them to your place of worship, and I'll ask your pastor to baptize them. But listen. Don't wait till you know there are some there are some worship places you know they do baptism once a year. How are you going to be doing baptism once a year? Does that mean you win souls once a year? No, baptize them, baptize them. Get get yourself you know water you know somewhere in a basin whatever. Baptize them. Believe that which glory be to God. I mean watch watch where. The uh, the disciples were, but they were baptized. Watch, come to come to um, chapter chapter four again of John four and uh, verse one. Let me show you something here. Look, he said, when the Lord Jesus learned that the Pharisees had been told that he Jesus was making them baptizing more disciples than John, although verse two, Jesus himself was not baptizing, but his disciples were. The disciples were the one who were but who. Who were, uh, was baptizing? The disciples were baptizing. Glory be to God. So disciples, baptize. Don't think that you are not able or qualified. You are qualified. If somebody is telling you you're not qualified, you probably have to go to Bible school before you baptize anybody and all that. They don't know the scripture. And they don't believe it. They don't believe it. Because Jesus told us, disciples, in Matthew 20, 28, verse 19 down, he says, baptize, go and make disciples and baptize them. Are you getting the revelation here? He says, go and baptize. Let's go and baptize. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Glory be to God. Are you listening? So let's go and do that. All right? I, will, I love you with the love of the Lord. There ain't nothing you can do about that. No, you can't. You can't. Are you, are you listening? You cannot do that. We still, listen, still have to send these Bibles. 
and all that. I need your financial contribution to do that. We need to get more. I mean, these Bibles, we got to do it. You got to do it. Be part of, beloved, you, you may, where I'm sitting down here, you may not be able to come. See, that is the thing. You may not be able to come, but those who may be able to go, support them to go. It means you are part of it. It means you are part of, of the thing. We're supposed to go. Are you listening? You're supposed to go. In the meantime, still want to encourage you. Utilize this social media. Get on there and teach the word of God. According to what Jesus says we should do. Go into all nations. Me sitting down here talking to you. There are other people from other nations all over the place watching me and listening. And that's how we're able to get the message across. So do it as well. Are you listening? Do it as well. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus says, Lo, I am with you always. 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 Not sometimes. I am with you always. So he's with us. And we will help you to do that he has asked us to do. Are you listening? Thank you for those who have sent, uh, you know, here and there, $50 here. Um, I don't want to mention names. No. Okay. But we need your financial support. We need that so that we can do more than we are doing. We need that. We thank you also for um, supporting this ministry. Let's do it together. Are you listening? Let's do it together. All right. And um, if you want to you go to the website, go to the website. All the information is there. If you are in a place like in America or those I mean, countries where you can use your Zelle um, app or cash app, all right, uh, the number for you to use it is 914-572-9816. 914-572-9816. For both cash app and Zelle, okay, you can use that to, to uh, send your donation, your financial donation, of a thousand dollars, five hundred dollars, ten thousand, one million. Okay, hey, Pastor, you don't say small monies. No, no, why? Because <laughs> we need to pick up money to do big things. Glory be to God, hallelujah, amen. I mean, last December we sent one just one Bible to uh, this brother, um, in the um, in the force, um, security force in India, and the cost of the Bible plus the shipping was almost $100. It was almost $100. I'm telling you. And so imagine that we got to send, and you know, 50 Bibles to just one area. Just one area. Just imagine that. So we, we need it, and it's, it's urgent. All right? It's urgent. It's urgent because, listen, we can't play. We can't play. We cannot play. People need to hear and people need the Lord. They need the Lord. And so please do that and um, be a blessing. You are already a, you are already blessed. You, you, don't, you are not doing that so God will bless you. You are already blessed. He's blessed you. Glory be to God. You are a blessing. Are you listening? So do that and um, let's, um, let's be a blessing to them. Also, our time, our time. So uh, Christine was asking, uh, she, I guess she can't wait. To get to Israel, she was asking about her uh, itinerary, you know, for, for our trip to Israel next month. Next month. The time is close. Uh, Christine is coming your way. <laughs> oh, I tell you. So please join. Let's do it. Some says, you know, I've spoken to some of you and all that. Join. The time is now. All right. Call um, um, the flyer, if you go to the website, because where I am, I can't even post all this information to you. Go to the website again. You see the flyer there and information is on there. Um, and get all that information you need. The numbers are there for you to call also, okay, for further information. Well, God bless you. I want you to know you don't have no trouble. Until I come your way, same time, may the eyes of the Lord watch between us. Have a fantastic day. You don't have no trouble. All you need is your faith in God and in all you're getting, all that you're getting and all you're getting, get understanding. God bless you.